What's up everybody? In today's tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to create a new project without Storyboard. And the reason we're talking about that is because it changed in Xcode 11 and iOS 13. So if you're trying to do it the old way, you're gonna get errors. So here's how you do it and the new way moving forward. Okay, so here we are. I normally talk about the starter project. Uh, there is no starter project. I just literally did file new single view application. And here we are, named it no storyboard new project. So the first thing you wanna do in a project where you're not using storyboard, let's get rid of the storyboard. Right click that storyboard, go ahead and delete it before it even gets a chance to load, you're gone. Uh, and then here on the general settings here in your, your target, uh, you see main interface is, says main. Well, that means it's gonna look for the main storyboard. So let's go ahead and delete that because we don't want it to look for the main storyboard. We don't have one. And then before we write any code, the next thing you need to do is go into your info.plist. And there used to be a line here that was like kind of at the top level that used to have to delete for the main storyboard. Uh, it's a little buried now. Uh, you can search for it in main. Like if I just typed in main, like I already had in there, uh, you'll find it in the info.plist. It's buried, but you can see. So it's an application scene manifest. It's like buried, right? Uh, all the way down here. But yeah, just go ahead and delete this line. And now we are good to go as far as like the plist and everything goes. So let's go back to the app delegate. So this is where you used to have a variable called window and you would do your code and did finish launching with options. And that, that's like the old way to do it. But you'll notice that app delegate is pretty short. It used to be long. Like where's all the did enter background, did will enter foreground, like all, all that stuff. Uh, that's not here anymore. So app delegate is relatively short. That has all been moved to the scene delegate. And this is what's new in iOS 13 in Xcode 11. So here you have the scene delegate, which now uh, has a UI scene. And so it used to be the window was like the kind of top UI object. Well, now the UI scene is kind of the top UI object and we add our window to that UI scene. So that's why we're doing it here in the scene delegate. And we're gonna do that in this new function called will connect to uh, the session here. Uh, this is kind of where the magic happens. So let's start writing our code. And a lot of this will look familiar if you've done this before, but there is a little bit of a difference. Uh, again, we have our window variable that we're gonna add to the UI scene. So we're gonna initialize the window. Uh, so that equals a UI window. And let's get our autocomplete initializer. We're gonna add a frame to it. Now we wanna use this here on line 20, uh, what they gave us, but you can see they didn't give it a name. So we're gonna have to rename that real quick. Uh, let's call it window scene. Naming is hard. Um, so now we wanna use this window scene uh, to create our window or initialize our window with. So window scene dot coordinate space dot bounds. And what this does is basically uh, makes your window th the size of the whole screen. And now every window has a window scene. So uh, window uh, dot window scene, again, naming equals window scene. There we go. So from here on out, it's the same code as it, it used to be. So every window also has a uh, root view controller. So our root view controller is going to be, uh, oops, equals view controller. And what this is, this is just the default view controller that came with the project, right? You know, when you create a new project, you get this default view controller. So if you have your own custom view controller, a Sean Allen view controller or whatever, uh, that's what you would put here. Or if you had like a UI tab bar or a navigation controller that held your initial view controller, uh, that's what you would put here. And you would have to do a little bit of different code, but um, just, just know that you can't just put the first view controller if you're using a tab bar or a navigation controller. Uh, and then you do kind of what makes it all possible, not window scene, <laughs> window dot make key and visible. So that is the code to get this going. Now you can kind of configure the root view controller a little bit here. I actually wanna go ahead and do it in the view controller. I don't know, just preference. But if we do view dot background color uh, equals dot dot blue, typing around your mic is always tough. So now if I go ahead and run the project, we should see a blue view controller here on the iPhone 11 Pro Max just announced. And there you go, blue view controller. We have no storyboard in this project. Again, to recap in the scene delegate, so here we have our window and now the top level UI object is the, the UI scene and we're adding our window to that scene, setting the root view controller to whatever view controller, again, it could be a tab bar, it could be a navigation controller, whatever, uh, and then make key invisible to go ahead and you know get everything up and running. So that's gonna do it for today's tutorial. Hope that was helpful. If you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing. I put out videos all the time. We'll see you in the next one.